hello friends welcome back this is madan again in this uh, demo we are going to learn how to execute raw sql queries along with entity framework code in asp.net for mbc web application and here i have opened the project that we generic report demo project that we used in our previous videos and in this demo we are going to execute raw sql queries along with uh, uh, entity framework core and uh, you might be wondering why we need to uh, execute a uh, raw sql queries from our application there are the times when you need to execute your queries faster and uh, this can be achieved uh, using raw sql so for the first step let's create a model in the model folder let's create a new file called let's say stock.cs and uh, see the namespace namespace of gmeric genetic repo demo dot models let's create a class public class stock and let's add a few properties here prop int id prop string product name and let's add another property here prop int quantity and for now let's do this let's only add these properties next step uh, we're gonna need to create our tables here and uh, uh, I'm using mysql as a database here so in the visual studio code from the extension you can download mysql extensions by searching here mysql extension and then you can use that from here so I have already downloaded the MySQL extension for Visual Studio Code from where I can execute the raw SQL queries. So since we are using generic, let's use the generic report demo database. And in this database, we need to create a table here. So let's right click on this new query and then let's create a table stock. Create table stock and then id int primary key auto increment after then we have a product name product name product name bar car of let, let's give it a length of 100 And quantity quantity in and let's try to execute this query here and let's refresh our database refresh and then we see our stock table here so in our stock table we have id product name and then quantity so let's don't save this query here so we have our table ready and then now we can connect to that database and to that stock table using raw sql for that let's go over to our repository folder and let's create a new file called stock regression repository.cs namespace generic repo demo dot generic repo demo dot let's copy the namespace from here demo dot RPUSITO our RPUSITO our repository and then let's create a class public class STOCK RPUSIT stock repository and now here we need to define our connection string and connect to that database using Raw SQL queries. So let's define a connection string here, or we can get the connection string from our 
app settings.json file which is here app setting.json so this is our connection string let's get this connection string here for that what we need to do is we need to create a constructor here c t o r constructor stock repository and from here we can inject uh, i configuration i configuration configuration and we can access that connection string using the method uh, configuration dot get connection string and default connection so let's inject this in our repository i c n f i g u r t n configuration c o configuration now let's import this here and then let's create a private field here private field and I prefer to give underscore to the private field underscore configuration after that let's define a string we are at private string c o n n s s t r n g connection string equals configuration dot get default private string connection string let's get the connection string or let's define the method here private string connection string underscore and then what we can do is underscore connection string equals configuration dot get connection string and then let's the connection we need to provide the key for the connection string here which is default connection so let's copy this and let's paste it here all right so if we initialize connection string here then we don't need to create this private variable private field so let's remove this here and then we don't need this as well and we can use configuration this variable directly here so our connection string is ready now let's fetch all stock from the database so what we can do is we can create a method here public list of stock public list of stock get all stocks stocks and let's bring in the required namespaces here so now we can write here plain adio.net code to access all the data from database and for this we don't need to uh, install any other libraries since uh, we have already installed uh, pomelo mysql for using uh, pomelo mysql for entity framework core and this works fine so first of all we need to do is variable let's create a list of stock first of all variable stocks stocks equals new list of stock let's initialize the stock variable here and then let's create a connection here using and we use the using statement so that we don't need to dispose that resource here using pr connection equals new my sql connection let's bring the namespace for this new my sql connection and here we can pass the connection string here so our connection string is in con string variable so underscore connection string connection new sql connection and then let's return null for now return null and then 
uh, actually we did a mistake here we write this method outside the class scope so let's move this up command x yeah okay so everything is fine now we need to create a SQL command here so variable uh, select select and the command equal to let's write a command here select star from stock so the name of our table is stock here so we can let's see and verify it stock so select star from stock so this is our SQL command oops this should be SQL query select query now let's create a command here variable command equals new my SQL command and here what we can pass is we can pass the command text our query select query and then we can pass the connection here and our connection is CONN and after that let's in the first step let's open the connection as well so con dot open so this opens the connection after then we have a query and then we created a command after then we can do it variable reader reader equal to command dot execute reader which passes our queries to the database and then the reader variable holds the data return from the database now we can loop over this reader and then uh, populate the data from database into our list so let's do it well let's use a while while reader dot read this is a method here so while reader dot read we can do is uh, let's create a new uh, stock here so variable stock equals new stock new stock and then we can do is stock dot id equals uh, we have a reader here reader and reader dot we can use index here so we can pass id and what we can do is we can convert this into integer so cnb at the convert dot to int 32 reader dot id let's bring the name space for this after then what we can do is stock dot product name equals reader reader and we have a key product name in our database this is the name of the columns column in the database after that we have last property quantity reader dot stock dot quantity read reader and then quantity and we need to convert this into integer so convert dot to int yes keep it in 32 and then convert it so our stock is ready now what we need to do is we need to pass this stock to our list variable so that all the stock from the database will be stored in our list list of the stock and that would be returned <coughs> so what we can do is our stocks list dot add and then pass it stock and finally we can return stocks so let's permit this and let's save this so our query to our method to get uh, data from database using raw SQL is ready now what we can do is we can call this method from our controller and get the data here so for the first step let's add few data here let's add a row here so let's go over to generic report demo and new query so let's insert into uh, stock and we have a PR city product name UANTITY quantity and then let's give it a value of let's say HARD DISK hard disk 
and let's give it a quantity of 100 and let's execute a query and let's say the mouse MOUSC MOUSC mouse and then 200 and again let's run the query and then let's select select star from stock stock and let's see if those data has been inserted into database or not so we see our data here now we are going to call our uh, get all stock method from controller and uh, see what that uh, gives what that returns to us so let's remove this query here and I'm gonna go over to the controller and let's use home controller for now and uh, Let's create a constructor here, sitter, and then the home. Uh, so actually, we don't need to create a constructor here. So let's directly use our repository. So variable stock repository repository equal to new stock rep or repository. And uh, of course, we need to pass. Uh, I configuration to our stock repository so actually we need to create a constructor here so let's create a constructor home cntr ldr home controller and then let's i c o n f i g u i i configuration c o n f i configuration let's bring in the namespace for this let's create a private field for this and my name in convention underscore underscore and then we can pass our configuration here and let's bring the namespace for this as well <coughs> now we can execute method here so let's say variable stocks equals stock stoc stock repository dot get all the stocks so this return the list of the stocks and uh, for now <coughs> let's just uh, put a breakpoint here and see if that returns data or not so let's put a breakpoint here and I'm going to debug the application so start debugging our index method of home controller has been hit by the debugger and let's do next and then let's see so you can see is we have a count of two and if we go over this then we can see our product here so this way we can execute our raw sql along with entity framework core and we don't need to install any extra libraries homelo mysql works fine for using mysql so this is it for now friends, I'll see you soon, thanks for watching and have a good day.